Hi, this is Irene Fex from Canada, the only daughter of Natividad Beltran. Words seems to fail me as I reflect and think of my mother's life. Right now, I am tasked to make the hardest speech, and that is giving tribute to a life well lived, and that is my mother. Admittedly, this is a very emotional and challenging time for me. I've struggled to understand and accept this situation. Losing a mother is a deeply painful experience. It comes with a hurricane of emotions, processings, and reflections. My mind wants to reject it all, but this is the reality. My mom is no longer with us in this world. As I am processing this immediate grief, I got the chance to look back and thank God for giving me the best mother in the world. I am so fortunate and blessed to be her daughter and it has been an honor for me to be calling her Mama Gings. Being raised with a woman like my mother Strong-willed, God-fearing, sincere, thoughtful, and kind made me the woman that I am today. I rarely got the chance to express my gratitude to her, but I know that she went home assured of my love and that the legacy of her life is lived in me. I don't know how I can summarize or speak to you of her entire life. There are so many intricacies. My mom was such a unique lady who was more than any of us can fully comprehend or speak to. She is so selfless. Before she thinks of her own needs and wants, she makes sure that I have all the best. She possesses a reassuring heart that always makes sure I know how much she cares and loves me. No matter how far the distance is between us, our mother-daughter relationship was bonded lightly, tightly in love. As I grow and mature away from her, she does not fail to remind me how important I was to her. I am assured that despite the distance, I am loved because she took time to tell me so. She was an incredible person. I feel so blessed to have been her daughter. Right now, I want to express my gratitude to her for everything that she did for me. When I reflect on my childhood, my mom's present was the one thing that is constant. The world that my mom and I took on was oftentimes changing and frankly speaking it was not it was never very easy. We endured many challenges together but somehow it all worked. It worked because we were not alone. We had each other. Our togetherness enabled us to navigate the constant change and to conquer the challenges. It gave us an invulnerable strength. The strength endures until now, and it is still with me today. In our times together, my mother taught me some of life's most important lessons, and she did so in a unique but powerful way. Rarely, if ever, she did preach a specific message or compel me to act in a certain manner, not with the life she lived. I have caught so. Many values worth emulating. Yes, Mama inspired and influenced me through her actions. While with her words, she was humble and caring in her actions, she was bold and powerful. I'll speak about three lessons that Mama taught me that stick with me today. First lesson was the power of belief. 
during my entire life, she reiterated one thing. Her absolute and unshakable belief in me. No matter the endeavor, attended college years, separated from me, she believed in me that I may be able to finish my schooling. By believing in me with full confidence and trust, she cultivated the belief within me that I could do anything. That belief is powerful because it made me what I am today. The second lesson was the power of compassion. She is the most compassionate person I ever known aside from her older sister in Dai. She listened without judgment. She gave without expectation. She helped out because it was the right thing to do. She was honest. The third lesson was the power of authenticity. She was a free and authentic spirit. Mama didn't stand behind the restrictive social walls we all like to build. If she wanted to say or do something, she did. Instead of judging people, she sought to understand them. It's hard for us to do this in practice. We are concerned with what people think. We let social norms or feelings of indifferences deter us. We choose comfort over courage. Fortunately, Mama taught me how to live authentically and be comfortable with that. She lived by her own code. Because of her, I now embrace differences. I choose courage over comfort and live by my own rules. As I wrap it up, I'd like to share a few thoughts on death and how can all move forward. After all, death is the reason why we are here today. Mama has passed and is now with our Savior. This is a reality that we all need to understand and process. It's circumstances like this that often allow us to step back from the day to day noise and reflect i reflect day on my mom's passing when i wake up it's the first thing on my mind during the day there are infinite reminders when i go to sleep it's the last i think of but i'm confident i'm not alone in this i'm not the only one processing so be with me as i openly embrace this challenge be with me as I focus on what really matters. Let us glide together past this grief of frustration. And together, let's continue to live our story with immense joy and fulfillment, living the remaining days. We have on earth spending our finite times with the people we love the most. I know Mama would support this idea. She never liked to see me down. So instead, I am choosing to fully embrace life while I still have the opportunity to do so. I am choosing to celebrate her life and find inspiration in her teachings. I am choosing to practice compassion to live and authentically. Of course, I am going to miss her. How could I not? She is my mother, but I know she will always be with me, always be by my side and in my heart. For that, I am deeply grateful. Thank you so much, Mama. Till we meet again in the glorious resurrection morning. I love you.